Welcome to this another Saturday Night Live. I'm your host, Conway Cameron. On Saturday Night Live, we talk the truth. We analyze the events that are happening in our country, in our world, and around us, and we talk the truth. We talk the things that nobody want to say, nobody want to hear, and suggests the things that nobody wants to do. We talk the truth. Since the COVID situation here in Jamaica and around the world, what improvement has the church made on itself? What improvement has the church made on our countries? on our world Saturday Night Live what has COVID assist the church to become how did COVID improve the status of the church And what better place is the church in to help our country? position the church is in its members well when I was a kid I'd take a trip every summer down to Mississippi visit my granny and her auntie Bellum work I'd run barefooted all day long, climbing trees, free as song. One day, I happened to catch myself a squirrel. Well, I stuffed him down in an old shoebox and punched a couple holes in the top. When Sunday came, I snuck him in the church. I sat way back in the very last pew, showing him to my good buddy Hugh. When that squirrel got loose, went totally berserk. What happened next is hard to tell. Some thought it was heaven, some thought it was hell. But the fact that something was among us was plain to see. As the choir sang, I surrender all, the squirrel ran up hard and knew coveralls. And hard leaped to his feet, said, Something's got a hold on me. Yeah! The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self righteous church in a sweet little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out. Shouting hallelujah Well the harv hit to out dancing and screaming Some thought he had religion, others thought he had a demon And Har thought he had a weed eater loose And he screwed the moon He fell to his knees to plead and beg And that squirrel ran out of his bridge's leg Unobserved to the other side of the room All the way down to the amen pew Where sat Sister Bertha better than you Who had been watching all the commotion with sadistic glee should have seen that look in her eyes when that squirrel jumped her garters and crossed her thighs. She jumped to her feet and said, Lord, have mercy on me. As that squirrel made laps inside her dress, she began to cry and then to confess her sins and make a sailor blush with shame. She told the gossip and church dissension, but the thing that got the most attention was when she talked about her love life. And then she started naming names the day the squirrel went berserk. In the first self rights of church In that sleepy little town of Pascagoula It was a fight for survival That broke out in revival They were jumping pews and shouting hallelujah 
seven deacons and a pastor got saved, and $25,000 was raised, and 50 volunteered for missions in the Congo on the spot. <laughs> and even without an invitation, there were at least 500 rededications, and we all got rebaptized whether we needed it or not. Now you've heard the Bible story, I guess, how he parted the waters for Moses to pass all the miracles of God has wrought in this old world. But the one I'll remember till my dying day is how he put that church back on the narrow way with a half-crazed Mississippi squirt. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sweet little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting hallelujah. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sweet little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight. How has the church become changed that it can be used by God to transform this world? No change, no improvement has been made. Good morning, Brother Andrew. How are you doing, sir? Long time no speak to you. The church has made no improvement since COVID-19. It's back to business as usual. Sin is even more rampant than before in the church. It's back to business as usual. Persons who have taken on the responsibility of becoming church members are back to their old tricks. Not even the threat of death and a viral pandemic can change the church and make it behave in a righteous, holy way. The children of so-called saints are still whores and prostitutes Bad man and gangsters. COVID has not caused any change. Members in the church are still lesbians and homosexuals. Robbers and murderers. COVID has caused no change. Pastors in the church are still playing the roles of... <laughs> Casanovas are still playing the roles of thieves. COVID-19 couldn't cause a change on the church. The status of the church is even worse than before because COVID-19, which should have drawn the church out of the world and put it on a pedestal, of becoming God's servant. COVID has failed at its job. The church has not become transformed. The church has not changed. Her standards are the same and worse. Sons and daughters of ardent churchgoers have not become converted they are still the same ugly bastard and bastards. 
walking around promoting Satan. These are ardent 50 year old church members. No change has been made. No transformation. Still the same gimmicks. Still the same jokes. Still the same show. COVID-19 had failed, has failed at its job. God, the situation is more grim than we thought. Back in the days, a plague outbreak, a viral outbreak would have probably caused some conversion, but not to the church goers of this age. The Bible said judgment begins at the house of the Lord. There's a scripture in Genesis chapter 4 where God was war warning Cain that sin was at his door. In other words, sin was about to take him over. He was pondering the murder of Abel in his heart. And God said, Cain, I will not accept your offering because you have sin in your heart. You have murder in your heart against your brother. Try your best and overcome it. But as the scriptures below that verse pointed out, eventually he killed him. The intention of church people to commit great sin have not changed, has not changed. And their intention is still the same. To use God to bypass, to be accepted in society as decent people while they are self-righteous criminals. The power of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost is of no use. It's the same jumping and hula ballooning and shouting Jesus, Jesus, Jesus and they still go back and do the same. God said, I will not accept your offering, Cain. And God is saying to the church, I'm not going to accept your offering. Keep your offering. You can't come sin and then can't offering come give me. You're living a life of sin, nastiness, sinfulness. The church has no power and remain in bed with Satan in compromising sexual position that dogs would be shamed to be in. I somehow was thinking in myself that the church would have reached a state of enlightenment, a state of cleanness and purity, of holiness and righteousness. But it was sadly my better wishing getting the best of me cause none of that was made manifested. I thought the church would be more prepared for its translation, its rapture as some of them call it. It's going home to heaven. It's called away. But sadly, the church is, has found itself in a worse state. Money and self-righteousness is the order of the day. And churchism. Godliness was never part of their spiritual our so-called spiritual contract. And because the church has failed and has become a den of every unclean beast, the country continues to go to waste. When will there be an improvement in church people? Their daughters and their sons are vagabonds of the devils that exist, the demons 
that scrape the catacombs of the graves at night. When will the older ones in the church become the stalwarts of righteousness? Instead, they are the garbage bags of rottenness dating from Satan was a boy. Not even the Holy Spirit can change them. There were no messages of warning. There were no street preaching. There were no urgency in the state of the world and its repentance, the repentance that is needed. There were only cowards and sinners waiting for normalcy to return so that they can make the money they used to. When Brother Andrew had so-called reopened the church, I thought the church would have taken the opportunity to take itself to the street to some street meetings. Instead, it went back to the coffins and caskets of its origin, like dead men bones in whitewash sepulchers. No improvement. You are still the same. There's a song that I want to play for the church. This one is dedicated to the church. For all the sinners who say they are church, this song is yours. An opportunity has been missed to reach the world and rip it from the harms of sin. But still, church is in bed with her devil lover, Satan. Dedicating this one to the pastors, to the church members, bishops, priests, and reverends.
church refused to give up her sins. And so she died in Satan's bed. A whore. A whore! This one is for you, Pastor Man. Bishop, this is your song. This is your song, Mr. Reverend. Yours, Mr. Priest. The church is lost. 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 God had counseled the Laodicean church to buy off him white raiments to buy off him clean garments to repent from her state of lethargic lukewarmness God's counsel has gone unheeded and the church yes church people the church is lost this has been Saturday Night Live I'm your host Conway Cameron as we tell us it, we talk the truth, we talk it as it is. Won't you repent?